There's tension brewing in the southern United States over the controversial Confederate flag, which is under close scrutiny again in the wake of the Charleston Church Massacre. Rallies were held at the weekend by locals demanding their right to display the deeply divisive banner, even though President Obama said the racist-linked emblem should be consigned to history and a museum. Gary Chichikan went to see why an image so prominently associated with the years of slavery in the American South is still then flying high. We are in Richmond, once the capital of the Confederacy of States that fought to keep the right to own other human beings, to own slaves. The flag under which they fought, you would think, would be part of history by now. Sitting in the Museum of the Confederacy, 150 years after they lost, but no. We drove for just one hour from Washington, D.C., and we see this huge Confederate flag flying high above the interstate highway, not because it's close to any historical museum, but just because someone wanted to make a statement. You can still find the flags on the porches of private homes. This is the capital of the Confederacy. I don't know if you knew that, but this is the capital of the Confederacy, and, and I'm proud of that flag. What and did the Confederacy fight for? See, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a historian. I'm not a historian. Here we drove by another house with a flag. So you don't think that the Confederacy was fighting for the right to own slaves? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I don't believe that it was all about that. Matter of fact, midway through the Civil War is when it became an issue of slavery. And the thing is, is with what, the... what about historians saying that that is the case, that it, it was about slavery? Well, that's because I, I believe uh, history books feed you like TV or, or anything else. They feed you what they want you to believe. Many in the U.S. find it outrageous that the flag is still flown despite the Confederacy's well-documented support of slavery and despite the fact that the white supremacists of the Ku Klux Klan use the flag. To me, it is a symbol of hatred, uh, racial inequality. It is a symbol of slavery. It is a symbol of white supremacy. So some people say it's about heritage, it's about history. But what kind of heritage and what kind of history? They see something noble where others see some of the darkest pages in American history. In Virginia, I'm Gainich Chekyan, RT.